guys, Jill here, and I have a haul video, and it's a pretty good one, and I must say that I'm not usually this spoiled, don't usually give in and get this much stuff, but um, we overpaid on my husband's school, so we got a little bit of a refund there. And then tax time. So I've been able to buy those things that I've been watching or wanting. And you know some of the newer things. So I just, again, I don't feel I have to justify it per se. But I want you guys to know that this isn't my normal spending. And everything in this pile was at least 40% off. So you know, you got to take that in consideration. So these... I already got a set of these. I really like them. I'm sure I'll use them. They're the little adhesive chipboard centers that match the k and Company Flora and Fauna paper. And as you know, I got a bunch of these. Well, they're now marked on clearance for like this one was 99 cents. So keep your eyes open for that because one of my Michaels, the whole display is gone. One Michaels is marked, you know, so if this is a paper line that you like, now would be the time. I have been looking for, I have the designer paper, but in this last mini I did, I used all but six sheets. So I really enjoyed the line, and I emphasize the butterflies on that book. So I left all the embellishments with all the birds. So I'm going to be doing a book with just the bird end of this. So I had to get more paper. I was hoping to find the other package. This is the designer, so I think it was the specialty pack. I can't find it in any of my Michaels. So I went with the designer paper. And I watch your ads because Joann's has a 50% off coupon. Then Michaels has $5 off of $25, and I think it's Sunday or something. This one, I have been eyeing, didn't get it, and glad, because today when I went to Michael's, this is the Julianne specialty paper, and there are 28 sheets, and it's got, you know, all the little, let's see, we've got some pages that match, and then there's a few, but not a lot glittery papers, but this is the one I love, and this one's really pretty, so really nice papers, and I couldn't believe it, you've got to like run to your Michaels, $3.49 for the specialty paper pack, it was originally $14.99, so I picked one of those up for me and one of those for my giveaway. And then the Julianne, which I've used a ton of, and this one's a really good deal because it's 54 sheets, and it's the designer paper, and it complements the one I also got, and I had gifted this to quite a few people, and I really like this collection, so it was $5.99. So I can go nuts with that with some stuff for craft fairs. Let's see. Oh, then the little recollections things. They're $1.99. They've been that way, but they moved them over to the clearance section. I had picked up the little flatback pearls, really liked them. So I thought, well, wouldn't the teardrops make some neat flowers? Well, these aren't flatback. I was not real happy about that. So I'll come up with something for them. But check that out if you're going to get those. <laughs> okay, so we had to go make an exchange on my Sizzix die that my husband got me. I was so proud of him. But I had found that many of the Sizzix dies at joannes.com for $11.99. All the artisans ones, and if you Google joannes.com, you can get a free coupon code it's like PIA 1500 or something like that. But you can Google it for over $35 free shipping. So I had ordered the Fleur de Lis. And so I went ahead and returned that and exchanged it for this, which is just as cool. This is the envelope scallop lace. So I'm looking forward to using that one. Okay, so I also got 
Hold on, let me get that receipt out of here. <laughs> I got a Ranger order, which pretty much is a Tim Holtz order. <laughs> so, again, guys, I don't need all this paper, and that's the hard part. But with the paper stacks, you know, it's kind of like an either-or thing. So, you either get 36 papers or you get none with these. So, I went ahead and I got his new paper stash, which is the Crowded Attic. And that one's got some really cool images in it. And for a change, I got a few of the add-on items. So I went ahead and I got the salvage stickers. And I'm not going to show you all of these because we've been seeing them. They're so cool. But I will show you these, the reinforcers. So they're like the little hole for tags. And that's really great because I have the, the die. So that'll make really nice reinforcers. And no, you don't get as many as you do with the white ones, but you can find something that matches and it's, you know, they're what, $1.88 and these are $2. So the salvage stickers are really cool. And I really like this page because you can color this, like with your Copics. And again, it goes with some of his other lines and I just dumped something. Oh, good. Whew, caught it. <laughs> Okay, so really like that. I also went ahead and got the Craft Resist Paper Stash. And again, this one's really unique and it's just beautiful. And like my husband pointed out, even the cover has the resist on it. Like each page has a different resist. So again, you can use the cover. And this one is just super cool. So that was a fun one to get. I'm gonna leave this here. I picked up three more of the Distress Stains, so I need two more now to have all 12, and I'm just so hopeful that they come out with more of these. I am going to do a tutorial, I'm getting ready to go back to work, so I'm trying to cram some stuff in, guys, beforehand. So I've really been liking using these. I would recommend them, and I'll give you some pointers on them. So I got Peeled Paint and Forest Moss and Wild Honey. So, I think I need one or two more of them. I think two. I also picked up the mini bird and cage set of the dies, the little movers and shapers, and these fit in to either your, like your Baroque die, or I got the L base tray and they fit in that. Really cute. And you guys know me and birds and bird cages. I also got the sewing room and this one I had been waiting on. It's been back ordered like everywhere. So I was really happy to see that that finally came. Okay, I picked up the plaquettes and like I said, these were a little different than I thought they were. The picture, just because of all his stuff, usually has a metal finish to it. This, I was surprised it had an enamel finish to it, and I really like these. So, now that I had had one, I picked up more. Really cool. Whoops. <laughs> okay, something else I'm super excited about. Everybody's been getting these. I went ahead and I got a few of the new stamp sets. And as with all of the Tim Holtz stuff, I have a really hard time narrowing down my choices. But this one, of course the book cover is awesome and so many of us make books, but I like that section right there even, or this, or wouldn't that make a good border for a card? So these I think have just a lot of uses and it's all aged. This one was like a no-brainer. <laughs> I knew I wanted this one. So this is the Papillion, and it's got, I don't know why I didn't notice the two different sets of the butterfly diagrams. Broat! A cat is playing with the packaging that this came in. And this background, that's a keeper. I'm gonna be using that everywhere. And then the reflection set. And I just love the idea that he thought to do the reverse 
of some of the popular things so that you can use them with your bold stamps. And I have a million and one bold stamps, so love that. Another thing I got today, and again, so spoiled, I know. And I just, <laughs> I'm really, really spoiled today that everything came at one time. And it, it's strange, you know, doing all this shopping at one time because it just, it feels ridiculous to me. But I will be easing up here. Um, my friend Trudy, I've shown it before, she sells some of her stuff sometimes and so I try to pick up whatever I can. And so I got some spellbinders from her and I got the Fleur de Lis rectangles, the eyelet circles. These I liked, but I was unexpectedly really drawn to these. These are going to make a beautiful card. And these are the lattice rectangles. I've been wanting this forever. And when I say forever, what? Eight months since it came out. <laughs> these are the lacy squares. I have the circles and I have a punch like this and I just really love how these come out. So that's a really great one. And also I saw Catherine and um, she's life on the scrap beach and she cuts these and connects them and makes you know like bigger mats out of them and for me that that really extends the life of something like this the lattice one i'm sure i can figure out how to do that then i got heart circles and i love hearts so these are really pretty and eyelid squares another really good multi-purpose one this I already have the lacy circles so this is not for me and then I picked up fancy tags three and I have the first set of fancy tags and I just I love all the little lacy edges and these are great too because you can just cut that part off like say you just want the top and the bottom and a bigger image, you can obviously cut them and use those accents or this on something. And I like how that's not just a circle, it has a little point to it, but that looks really good with some circles over it. These just seem really versatile to me. And she had some others and I wish I'd been able to get those, but someone else was lucky enough to get those. So that is my haul today. And for me, this is like a mega haul. I, I really, again, I got a lot of really good deals, a lot of things on sale, so that always makes me happy. And I actually, you know, got a few, broke down and got a few of the newer things when they first came out because I try to hold back, but because I actually got some taxes this year as opposed to had to pay, it was strange for me. So it was really great having a chance to spend a little bit of money and not feel guilty about it on a lot of the CHA stuff. I do have a few more things coming, but, you know, I'm whittling down my, my wish list, and we'll, we'll see what other deals there are out there. So thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.